Hi Virgo, thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love reading. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So we're going to go ahead and take a look here at what is going on for you in love, Virgo. So when I opened up here to the energy, um, the first thing they showed me was, they almost showed me like an image of um, a person who looked like they were being stitched up from something, um, or they looked like they were recovering from some sort of illness or some, um, you know, wound or surgery. This does not have to be the actual situation. It could just be how they've been showing it to me metaphorically. But um, the next thing I heard also was, some reference of like the healing the healing is taking place and i heard this time around and they want that to be like an important message this time around and at the bottom of this deck here we have the ace of swords and then the ten of cups the queen of pentacles the king of wands Quan yen is here as well and beneath this we actually have the justice card so i feel like this reading it feels like it is for somebody who possibly there is going to be some solution here which allows you to heal this time around and i want to get some more information as to what exactly that's about because for some of you i'm getting it could be this connection here between you and a person um signs don't have to matter but we could have earth sign if you are an earth sign um or if you are a fire sign or this person could be a fire sign you could be an earth sign or vice versa but it doesn't have to be it could just be an extra message for some of you but i feel like this is going to be a message for someone that needs to know that something seems to be coming to a solution which maybe has been a long time coming for you or for you and this person and it feels like there's almost, they're showing me somebody actually taking off the bandages now. And obviously with Quan Yen here, this, it says here, choose compassion and move forward with grace. And it feels very soft. It feels very loving. It feels very tender and, and forgiving. So there's definitely a feeling here of like, it's time to take off the, the bandage or it's time to take off the, the kind of wrap for the wound to heal so let's get some more information to what exactly is happening here um but some of you i can see this being again like about some particular relationship or situation in your life which i feel with the justice and the ace of swords seems to be coming to an opportunity i'm hearing for you even just yourself if you're drawn to this reading you might be at a position in this time frame or in the situation where you feel ready to heal you feel ready to heal yourself from this situation or to move on from this person but it seems like it's more than that it feels like there's like a a deeper solution which is able to allow you freedom and forgiveness and compassion that you either will hear from with with this person or you'll you'll be able to um like spirit said this time around so maybe this time around is going to be different Others of you, this could be something physical, if that resonates with you. It might be something that has been, um, that you've been struggling with physically or emotionally, apart from just a person. And it feels like maybe this time around, you have the means to overcome it, or you're going to have the solution that you need to heal yourself from this. Okay, so... Yeah, so if this kind of sounds like something which might resonate with you, let's go a bit deeper into it and see what more spirit can tell us here. Yeah, they're showing me the windows opening and I'm being shown like a lot of air coming in and I'm hearing it's airing out. So again, there keeps there's like a lot of references of when we open kind of the window, so to speak, and we allow the the kind of stuffiness of the situation to air out or we open kind of if you think of like a wound and maybe it needs to air out 
um, or we can like unwrap the wound that has been wrapped really tightly and it's like kind of been it hasn't been healing so maybe you haven't been able to heal from something or you haven't been able to heal from this relationship or something that's been pressing on you or on your mind for a while um, but with the ace of swords being there I mean with the window reference I can also see this being possibly something about clear communication so you and a person here could be going to be having or have recently um, or need to have some level of like opening the window sort of for the two of you to have a clear clearing of the air and this might be something which will really allow you here yeah seven of swords to the seven of pentacles so it's like something's been avoided and i feel like i'm hearing renovation so again this take this how this will be specifically for some of you this might be an existing connection in your life it could even be a friendship it could be a family member um or it could be a, a love interest and maybe there's kind of a point in your relationship where there's an opportunity to renovate it or to heal it um and it also could be though that this is simply something about you and maybe your perspective of this whole situation or the way that you are treating yourself like they're showing me here with this move forward with grace I feel like that line is like sticking out here because I feel like yeah interesting they're showing me somebody like that has buried something um, yeah the hanged man buried something in this is not actually but like buried something in the yard and like we've kind of neglected it or we haven't tended to that we've just kind of stuffed it away and we something with that seven of swords that like has to come out or be addressed um let's see spirit tell me a little bit more about this message please for whoever this is for tell me a little bit more about this message please for whoever this is for two of pentacles we have the king of cups a lot of characters coming up here the four of swords so water water signs pisces is coming up um earth and fire but again doesn't have to be um yeah this definitely feels i would say for the most part this seems to be and for some of you this could even be a vice versa reading or it's intermixed here between several people so maybe it's also picking up on how somebody else is feeling towards you and the situation right now because it definitely feels like there's a need to clear the air with some sort of there's like a hesitation here or there has been and it feels like maybe for some of you watching this you might be needing to like be in a position of compassion or having compassion for the situation having I, I don't know exactly what's going on here maybe needing to kind of um yeah there's just some kind of focus here of like the clouds passing they're showing me like dark clouds passing and from the beginning it seems like that's the main message here um this is either going to be happening or depending on if you're like involved with something right now and this reading found you and it resonates with you there might be a message to somehow let the clouds pass for yourself move forward with grace choose compassion so whether that means like pulling yourself out of the situation or showing compassion or kindness for something which is very difficult right now for you um or it could be something also again like energetic to where you are involved with something or like in, entangled in something and hmm what more can you tell us here spirit what more can you tell us about this energy for whoever this is for today yeah and they're showing me like a there's been like a lack of direction somehow there's been a confused confusing energy about which direction to go in this whole situation and again they're showing me that buried energy with the seven of swords so this kind of feels a bit complex for some of you again take it how it's going to be for your specific situation you might have someone around you who's been doing this who's been kind of like burying something maybe they've been literally hiding something from you if you've been suspicious of that or it's just kind of like um yeah but 
this time around the solution the healing this time around so this could even be something which has happened multiple times or you've been caught in this dynamic for a while and so i want to see a little bit more to what they mean by this time around maybe something different will happen this time around or maybe you're needing to do things differently this time around so that it doesn't kind of create the same results with the window reference it's like there's i feel like this actually could be more of like advice or guidance for some of you but um it also could be what needs to happen or what you know possibly will happen but it's like this whole situation feels stuffy to me like someone needs to open the window here and kind of get this energy out um What else can you tell us, Spirit, for whoever this reading is for? What else can you tell us here? I'm hearing starting over. Yeah, starting over. Rebirth. Okay, yeah. So reinvent yourself. Give life to your dreams. Create a new reality. So it's kind of what I would just mention here about reinvention with the Seven of Pentacles. And then we have trust. Leap into the unknown have faith and move forward believe that you can fly yeah so i feel like for a lot of you this seems to be mainly coming from what spirit's saying here is that you are in a position of reinventing yourself from this situation and it feels like if you have been maybe going back and forth between the seven of swords and the seven of pentacles like whether you should either stay in the situation or whether you should continue to be involved with something which has not been clear or clarified or there's been drama involved here i feel like there's a message here of reinventing yourself i'm hearing just push forward and they're showing me someone like yeah with the leap into the unknown believe that you can fly there's something of like have the courage to just push yourself forward and i will get some some more detail here because i feel like there's something i'm kind of missing about something here with this other person maybe but i do feel like for you though the viewer there is a message here of that of like just push forward regardless of maybe where you find yourself now and there's something with this time around so maybe maybe there's a certain outlet or portal here for you to this time around allow yourself to do things differently or allow yourself to take a different approach to the situation but as i'm as i'm going further here um, they're drawing me to the King of Wands, and I'm being shown something with that King of Wands particularly. So let me see, because there could be something here coming from the King of Wands when it comes to um, some clarity maybe directly from this person. We have the Magician, we have the Seven of Cups, we have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, wow. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the King of Cups, the King of Wands. So let me try to see what's going on here because when it when all these court cards come out it can be a little bit like um it's like very stuffy in here with this energy so definitely i would say that this reading is for some of you who seem to be dealing with somebody else at least if not multiple people or whoever you're connecting to may have multiple people or there's like multiple paths that you could choose definitely with the seven of cups here it's a very confusing kind of um Again, something here that feels like the with the Quan, Quan Yen right in the center, what they're kind of saying is that that should be the center of the reading, like that should be the main, or like that should be the, the result or the solution. Um, so whoever you are as the viewer in this whole situation, if, if you're here, you would kind of know how this applies to you at least with what's going on. Um, it feels like you are the one who's kind of what spirit's saying again just push forward with the queen of wands like having compassion having compassion for yourself for this other person or the situation involved and to again kind of allow yourself to do things differently 
but yeah this king of this king of um wands here knight of wands okay six of wands the moon the empress Aquarius flow find an easier path forward surrender the outcome and release your expectations yeah so let me grab some cards from this deck here to see if anything else will come up specifically about this because I feel like this probably is a love situation for a lot of you um, unless it's something involving family or a close friendship, maybe. Okay, unexpected communication. Yeah, so we had that in the beginning, Ace of Swords, and then it kind of kind of went away and, and veered into a different path here. But for some of you, this could this whole thing could circle around an unexpected communication. Um, so this might be with the Ace of Swords, where Spirit said in the beginning, this time around, or the solution. And so yeah, it's kind of making a bit better sense now to me with the Ten of Cups because I feel like. Let's say, for example, that um, some of you will receive an unexpected communication. The way that maybe things had gone in the past or the way that things have been buried, this person burying things or you, whoever, this involvement here, it feels like there's an opportunity for you to have a solution that you've been wanting to have here with this, but it requires you to kind of like be in this compassionate energy to find a better way forward than where things were before and i feel like yeah they're showing me something with pressure off take the pressure off coming home because yeah this reading it feels it almost feels like being in an elevator with like um you know tw like 20 people or something that's how the energy feels in this reading so it's hard to even like get further into it because it feels very crowded um, and what they mean by that is that this could be something which is very um, maybe close to your heart for some of you, or this could be something which is somehow it's just there's a lot going on with this, or there's a lot of energy behind the situation yeah energy exchange intense spiritual energies felt by both parties creating attraction and confusion very interesting reading here um, i don't know if with these characters coming up if this is something that you have yet to experience so maybe some of you could meet somebody very unexpectedly and there's a very intense um, exchange between the two of you or this might be someone that you you've already you know that you already know and this is speaking about that connection that you have this very intense connection with with the magician here mainly coming from this king of wands it doesn't have to the signs don't have to matter but it could be a fire sign where they could have a very fiery energy especially if they're a man um and there could be this unexpected communication coming directly from this person okay or you to them so what about it Yeah, they're showing me like two roads that are crossed together. This is very confusing. Um, so th something with that seven of swords to where someone has maybe there's there's uh, there's an, there's another path involved in the situation. So to simplify it, I feel like there's someone here connected to you that you've been wanting to have a solution with. And possibly this person will be doing something about it. 
and you either will speak with them very soon, they'll reach out to you, or you'll reach out to them, or maybe run into them. But something attached to this person or attached to you is causing a lot of fuzziness with the situation. So maybe it's like there's somebody else involved in the background or somehow the situation, again, requires you and them. But in this case, since I'm just speaking to you as the viewer to kind of rise above this in this higher way or this more compassionate way. Um, I hope this makes sense because this, this definitely may not be for everyone. So you would, you would kind of, yeah. So this could be a twin flame journey. I will wait for you. Yeah, this feels, that's probably why it feels this way. Cause some of you, this is someone that you are on a twin flame journey with. And then we have soulmate secrets. We have, I still think of you beneath that. Yeah, they're showing me like a knot, something twisting, almost like someone's stomach twisting into knots. So what what exactly do you want the viewer to know about this whole stuffy elevator room kind of feeling here, Spirit? What does the viewer need to know? What's the main message about this whole thing that you would like them to know? Because from the beginning, that was the first mes message that there will be a solution this time around. So that's why it kind of gives me the impression of like maybe this has been something that you've dealt with before and this time around this is either a warning kind of in a way to do things differently this time around or this is that there will be something done differently this time around um for most of you it's going to be like the first message though the first part where it's Yeah. I'm hearing lied to myself. I lied to myself. Wow. So I'm actually going to have to grab some love decks here because this did turn into a love reading and this would, this feels like, um, let me ask that question though. What is the main message? And then I will grab the love deck and my nose is really itchy so this could be like something someone really needs to hear um and then i probably will do an extended for this as well because it just i feel like i want to go more into this person situation okay so these flew out so here it is again ace of swords strength justice the star okay so spirit what is the main message then that you're trying to say for the viewer what's the main thing they can take away from this yeah some of you i'm hearing be prepared okay be prepared so this might be an incoming thing which is yet to happen they're showing me a big tidal wave coming in and i'm hearing be prepared um and the main message here is is that let me just block this card in case they in case youtube flags that um the main message is what came up earlier that now you have the opportunity or you will to for you both to like create an adjustment to the situation. Um, and for some of you, it might be something that you've been carrying within. Like maybe you've had this, whatever it might be like resentment towards this person, or it could be that you've had just like you've, you've bottled up your emotions as well towards this person or situation, or there's been something which has happened recently for some of you, if it has not been like a separation where there's an opportunity to heal between you both now. There's an opportunity to sort of set free whatever this stuffiness has been, okay, with the strength and the Ace of Swords. And it seems to be instigated or kind of like um, brought on by this communication. And nothing is ever in stone, you know, so not everyone will maybe experience that, but there's definitely like it's on the, it seems like it's on the table somehow or it's some possibility of this incoming. And... Yeah, they keep showing me, they're showing me somebody rolling in the dirt and I'm hearing that again. Like, are you going to roll in the dirt again? Like, are you just going to jump back in the mud and create the mud all over again in this situation? Or will you choose to jump in the clear pond here of the star? Meaning 
something here about this again clarity or like compassion um needing to 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 sort of the way that you maybe speak to this person or the way that they speak to you breaking free yeah but i feel like for a lot of you it might be something that's going to be like your own sort of thing that you're going through so it might be that you are the one it's not even so much about this person here um yes it could be them or them are involved they could be involved as well but it also could be more so about you with the breaking free in the star. Um, how can you allow yourself to get rid of this mud that you feel, this stuffy elevator kind of feeling I keep getting? Same kind of analogy as the mud. This has been something where maybe this person has kind of made you feel like you are just jumping back in the mud all over again and all over again. Um, and maybe it's something that's been stuck within you towards them and towards the situation, which you've been like carrying this mud with you. So how can you like there's an opportunity for you to choose the more yeah the card that came up before to the flow choose an easier path forward and that's going to mean different things for everyone it could be the way again that you say something to this person it could be the opportunity to you know completely jump into the clear waters away from them entirely um it could be the con the nature of what the two of you talk about this time with the windows being open you know like how can there be more freedom sort of in the situation and how can you give that to yourself because i w i will say they're showing me this like parrot talking in the background and like i was mentioning here a few times with the clutteredness of this reading um it feels like there could be either gossip going on in the background or this person has whatever it is that they've buried in their life it's that could be the elephant in the room sort of or that could be the the topic of conversation or that might just be what they're carrying or what they will bring in here um which you don't want to get yourself involved in because if you do it just kind of takes you again back down backwards into their muddy situation but i'll have to get a lot more for this because it seems like there's it's very complex here um, before I like jump too far ahead, but I feel like that's the main thing that that spirit wants to say here is that this is an opportunity to break free and And when they show me the ten of cups in the very beginning For a lot of you this does feel though that whatever it is that you will choose to do and whatever the outcome is going to be It leads you closer to your ten of cups so it leads you closer to this, I keep getting like this purity or this purification um, where, you know, maybe there's a possibly a an ability here now to establish a Ten of Cups situation between the two of you because of this clarity or these windows being open and all this stuff here. But it also could be some of you are having the opportunity to break yourself free from the situation so that your Ten of Cups, so that your happiness may be elsewhere can also come in. Come in. Um, redemption, yeah. I'm hearing life is short, live it, is what I just heard. Rebirth, wow, so lots of similar cards here. Let me grab one more love deck just to see what the final message is, and then I will do an extended, and I'm just going to um, go further into just what's going on in this dynamic. For those of you involved in this, again, most of you um, could resonate with being on the twin flame journey, and that's how you will kind of know that this is for you. And there's someone here that you have a very intense exchange with. I will also pull from the bowl, I just heard, so maybe some of you wanted me to pull from the bowl just for extra confirmation, because I feel like this is this type of reading that is not going to be for, for everyone. Um, but let me pull from one more love deck here. Okay, so Spirit, what is the, what else would you like to say here about this reading to help us kind of put together what the viewer needs to know if this is for them? What is the main message that is coming up in the reading? I'm hearing be understanding. Yeah, so again, something with this Quan Yen here. 
compassion. So maybe the nature of whatever this conversation is or whatever this person maybe is going through. Um, if you're already like in an involvement, then you may already know what this is because maybe it's something that maybe your connection is kind of on the fence right now and there's something which has come, come up, you know, I don't know. Maybe something where this person wants you to wait for them or they're hoping that you will, but they might have something that they either have to tell you about, some sort of secret, um, to redeem themselves with this, or it could be something that you already know what's going on with them because you're already involved. And um, in that case, you know, how, how uh, Spirit's saying again, like how can there be more understanding or compassion with whatever it is that you choose, you know, to do, but still having love and compassion for the situation is helping to soften and to also heal yourself. It's more about like that, you know, holding on to coal and expecting other, the other person to die. It's that kind of um, feeling where it's not, it's not Im beneficial for you to hold on to resentment or to anger, or if this does come in in the future and this person may upset you or say something, I'm also hearing trust the mystery um, but let's see spirit what else would you like to say here what is the final message that you would like to say for this reading that the viewer most needs to know and how they'll kind of be able to hear the main message okay so we have it's okay to trust you can trust them they've learned their lessons and have changed okay so just around the corner so this actually kind of yeah i feel like this makes sense i feel like for a lot of you this does seem to be for someone who would like to show you that they have changed and that they have learned their lesson. This card doesn't come out often, so I feel like this person likely has actually changed. Um, and so again, we'll look more into them in the extended and see what they're feeling, what they're thinking, and, and what more you need to know here. But definitely with Ace of Swords, this is a clear communication. And justice for me is that open window feeling with the star. So I feel like this person has gone through some kind of transition or change or this might be again for a few of you who've already been in a relationship with this person and maybe it's just something that they you were hoping that they would kind of you know maybe want to work on things or w would kind of agree with you with things and I feel like that's that's going to happen here that's what this is saying so just around the corner yeah this feels like that tidal wave coming in where for a lot of you who truly resonate with this reading this does not seem to be far off, and this is like a warning kind of reading. Not in a bad way, but just like to for you to have a heads up. And then we have, yes, newfound courage. They worked up the courage to express their true feelings. Yeah, so this month, this definitely could be happening in the next, like, by the end of July, okay, for some of you. Not everyone's going to be on the same timeline. It could be further, but um, definitely there's a there's at least a... Um, a movement in that direction where this person feels more ready for that than they have in a while. Um, so we have rebirth. No, going through a dark night of the soul, the space between who they were and who, who they will become. So this here could resonate with some of you when you're in a relationship. That won't be for everyone because there are these a lot of characters here. So either this is happening after you've already moved on and maybe you're in a new relationship now, um, or maybe they are in another relationship or were. But definitely with the rebirth, we had a few times here. This feels like someone who's maybe in that transition between what they've buried kind of in the yard and how they're going to explain that or like break free from that. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, we have self-worth. Identify your own toxic behaviors preventing you from having healthy relationships. So that could also be the buried feeling. Um, could be you, could be both of you. Could be them for sure, but I feel like it could be both of you really. And so that's why the first two cards that came out was the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands next to each other. Because I'm getting two things with that. Either that's the two of you next to each other, or that could even be another involvement of another person who has like kind of helped this person in a way to show them their own toxic behavior so that they can break free and do things differently with you okay 
So before I go to the extended, I am going to pull some of the some some of these here from the bowl, and then I will pull pull some charms if I can talk in the extended as well. Um, but this could just give some of you confirmation if you need confirmation if this is for you or not. But if these don't resonate, that's no big deal. They're not going to be for everyone. So if you resonate with the reading, but not these, and that's that's totally okay. Um, and you may want to turn down the volume. It can be very loud when I shuffle these. Also, I'm getting to that how you might know this person too is that I'm getting that they have um, I'm hearing they've been battling it so it might be something with the two sevens I seven could be prominent too but we're in July as well so it does say here too this month so this could be happening in July but it's like this person has been maybe battling this for a while and either they've told you this or you've just been able to identify that or it's something that you intuitively know that this person has been battling whatever this like the, the two ideas with you or the two you know situations here um, or decision so this card Lor or this uh, name Lori flew out so someone's name could be Lori in terms of names we have Felicia Tamisha Marik Margaret Diana, Kelly, Jeanette, Ashley, Glare, Andy, Valerie, Erica, Neil, Casia, Kesa. Cyan, Liliana, Alicia, Janice, Irene, Lindsay, Christina, Charlotte or Charlotte, Christine, Miko, Astrid, Rosa, Kieran, Paul, Javier, and I think Mat Matia. I believe that's it. This is also here too, Kathy Cat. So Kathy Cat, or it could be Kathy as well, just Kathy. And then we have London, we have Rhode Island, we have Indiana, India. So Indiana, India, Indonesia. Oh, so lots of I, it's like very similar. Um, starting with I we have New York City we have Delhi I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly we have Libra Sun Virgo moon 50s so someone could be in their 50s we also have third party yeah definitely a third party situation um, lawyer bookkeeper and that's it so I will also roll the astrological dice here and then we'll go over to the extended. <laughs> 